today we are going to be making my mother's famous smothered green beans. She's given me her recipe and has allowed me to share it with you all. Now, do you know what Juneteenth is? If not, let me tell you. Juneteenth is actually the Independence Day for African Americans here in the United States. And I think they celebrate this in Mexico, right? Because we was enslaved there too. Girl, we was enslaved everywhere. Anyway, mainly in the United States of America. Here is why. When America gained its independence from England, my ancestors who were enslaved Africans at that time were not free. We were still enslaved on July 4th, 1772. I'm from Philly, I know these things. <laughs> Nothing is funny about this. My ancestors were not fully free until June 19, 1865. The Emancipation Proclamation freed all enslaved Africans on January 1st, 1863. However, in Texas, it was not enforced until June 19, 1865. So that is why African Americans celebrate their Independence Day on June 19th and not on January 1st and not on July 4th. Now don't get me wrong, I'm from Philadelphia. There are a lot of black people who still celebrate Independence Day. We just call it a very fun patriotic cookout, but we're a celebratory people so we celebrate just about anything. But June 19th is our Independence Day. So normally on Juneteenth, my family, we all come together and we make traditional African-American dishes to celebrate our independence. One of the dishes I'm making for you today is smothered green beans. Again, this is my mother's famous recipe and she so kindly shared it with me to share with you all. Be thankful, cause this is delicious. Let's get into it. Let's get into the ingredients. I use one meaty turkey neck bone. You can also use pork butt or pork shoulder. Those are the more popular choices for this recipe, but I decided to use turkey because I can control the sodium better. With pork, it's just a bit too salty for me. Two tablespoons of chicken bouillon, a half tablespoon of dried thyme, a half tablespoon of dried sage, and a half tablespoon of smoked paprika. One dried bay leaf. Now add the cooking oil of your choice to a pan on medium heat. Now add your onions. I prefer to use white onions just because they're a bit more sweeter and spicier than yellow onions. This is a savory dish and I want to use the sweetness from the white onions to just give this dish a hint of sweetness. Now simmer until the onions turn a light brown. Now make a space in your pan for your smoked meat. Simmer on both sides until you get a nice char. Add about three cups of water to your pan or just enough water to fully cover your smoked meat. Add your seasonings. I added some smoked hot pepper seeds because we like a little spice over here. Stir and cover for an hour on medium to low heat. After about an hour or so, add your string beans to your boiling broth. You can use fresh or canned string beans. I prefer to use fresh string beans just because the canned string beans tend to have a lot of sodium. And in lieu of garlic, I am using my garlic confit paste. This is about three cubes. Basically, this paste is just roasted garlic that I blended and froze in my fridge for a few days. Cover and let simmer for about 30 minutes or when the green beans are soft to touch. So now your string beans are soft, your sauce is a bit creamy, and you have now let them rest for about 20 or so minutes. Now it's time to dig in. Mmm! Oh, that's really good. That's really good. That's really good. Oh, I'm, I'm like nervous to see what my mom would say, but I like it, it's good. All right. I'm satisfied with this, but now it's time to bring in the champ. My mother, Mama Star. Mama Star, come on in. Hi guys. Oh, you got her right here. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I let them know that this is your recipe. Okay. And I did everything that she told me to do. And now I'm going to have her try it and she's gonna let me know what she thinks. Okay. All right. From the looks of it, it appears that you did a fantastic job with your ingredients <laughs> and with your time for cooking. And um, now we're at the finished product. Let's right. go. Let's go. All right. Let me try to just. Uh, Mom, stop looking at yourself. Look at the camera. Okay. Oh my God. All right. 
So here we go. Like, look at the camera, that turned so, oh my god. So a little hot. Also, oh, that's, so that's a huge mouthful. Still a little hot, but a little scrunchies. Let's see, let's see. It's a bit spicy though. My god, today. <laughs> you like it? It actually tastes like my mom's. Oh. <laughs> This really tastes like my Really? Yes. This is very good. This is very good. Great job, my dog. Great Thank job. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. So I'll just finish eating these off. You'll finish eating those off. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful, safe, and joyful Juneteenth. I love you. <laughs> Doing an outro. <laughs> I love you all and I'll see you soon for something else. Bye. Mwah. Oh, please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I'm here to help. See you next time. Bye.